Hello everybody, welcome to game 8 of Undead Over Explained. Won the toss, received the ball, that's the way the rules work. Up against a human team here, he's got 13 players, he's got an ogre, he's got a halfling, he's got a dirty player sneaky gate, we have to be very, very, uh, hunt this catcher down, very, very wary of him, do not let him foul mummies. Um, a dirty player kick, I assume one of these, at least one of these was... A random um, so yeah interesting you can't leave him out there okay good and I uh, got a block guard mummy very nice a couple of other guards <laughs> and a sneaky get dirty player are on so yeah you know just gonna try try to uh, hope that the mummies don't get killed is, is number one thing <laughs> good luck Solly do crash so bad. yeah it was <laughs> <laughs> I realised that was terrible as I was saying it, but I couldn't, um, I couldn't, I couldn't get out of it once it started. Do you know what? I kind of wish I'd gone because, like, honestly, Athens is pretty cool, isn't it? So, like, I kind of wish I had gone to this, but I was in a very bad place mentally, and uh, now that I'm not, it's. Too, it's too last minute, isn't it? Um, and I don't know, Budapest seems a bit... Not as cool as Athens. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, never mind. Right, so this is this is okay, isn't it? We'll do the 5-2-1-1. Got a sneaky git, can protect the mummies with a few zombies. As long as he can't easily foul mummies, we're okay. And then eventually he might um, give us his catcher so we can blitz him and foul him. So I might carry on the blodger here because, you know, he's got a. I think he's gone mostly randoms, right? He's got this grabs weird. Is it grab or juggernaut? Grab. Let's get a guard. He's got a leader, so maybe not all random, but. I feel like the Lino has to be random, right? Otherwise you just save for sneaky git. And Grab surely has to be random. Also he's on one SPP, right? Which implies four SPP from an MVP into a random. Um Yeah, okay, let's go with this. I could have like blitzed the ogre right with me, but I just want three dice to get knockdowns. Just get knockdowns, that's the most important thing. Punchy punchy. Get knockdowns. You know, just like this, right? Just get the knockdowns. That's the most important thing. <laughs> just, you know, if we can just get these knockdowns. That's really all we need to do. Just get these knockdowns here. Yep, yeah, yeah. You know, like just th this is this is how you just play the game, guys. Just get these knockdowns right, and then everything will be all right. As long as you just get these knockdowns, uh, just like that, that'll be fantastic. Yep. Now I'm kind of having to go back a little bit just because he can get some decent pressure here, can't he? I ain't gonna blitz with this guy. I don't know why I didn't do the block first, I had two assists. But, uh... Well hey, a very, a very athletic zombie. For some reason I thought I couldn't make this block, but obviously I could. He had a defensive assist, I had two assists. I definitely should have just made this block first, then I wouldn't have had to bring in the ghoul there. That was very weird. I think we're safe to push him back here anyway, right? Keep him in contact. He's in contact with two guards and one of them's a mummy, so I think he can stay in contact. But wow, what an absolutely pathetic turn of dice. Did get the pickup though, so that's something. And uh, how far can he get? Up to there. Wow. 
That was crazy, wasn't it? That was crazy. <laughs> Worst Air Disasters TV show, that's unbelievable. Yeah, like, it just, it just feels like... You know, I mean, I've been on a plane a few times, and it just feels like... It feels... I don't know, more of an adventure than getting in a car, doesn't it, right? If you're in a car, you expect to just have a... Have a relatively... Even though mental things happen in cars as well, like, you know, there's various, various videos around, isn't there, on YouTube, well not on YouTube probably, on, uh, on the internet there's various, wow, what a terrible decision from him. What a terrible decision from him. <laughs> His sneaky git. I've got a team with two mummies. And four ghouls, and he's just yeah okay okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna foul a zombie mate. <laughs> Why wouldn't I foul a zombie? <laughs> That's not what I would have done. Um, yeah, what I would do is just push, continuously push. Okay, there we go. Right, so there is a there are two blitzers there. The lineman is who I want to blitz right. He's got dirty player. And I can kind of protect myself a little bit. A little bit. It's a bit dodgy though. I don't want him just coming in and, and blitzing me. And I also don't want him blocking my ghouls. Could just go there and stay on the edge. Maybe that's the way, eh? Obviously, I'll get a boat down now and think, no, well, if I'd got a boat down, I'd have really wanted to hit him, wouldn't I? But now he can come in there to protect the side. And he can come in there. does have a guard, but only one. This is okay, I think. Well, this guy doesn't really need to be anywhere. Um, I guess I'll put him there. That does something a little bit. Yeah, flying is pretty wild. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it, like it's mad. As much as it's basically, you know, like normal these days. And I say these days, like for like <laughs> the entire length of my life, <laughs> the entire duration of my life, it's been completely normal. But like, it's still wild, isn't it? That you're just up there in like a big metal tube. Mental. Ah, so he does just blitz me with the old guy. I just didn't for some reason. I just thought he wouldn't go all the way around and do that, but he does, and he cazzes me. <sighs> of course he does. Regen did work, yeah, that was huge. Right. Ball goes to here.
I've got no idea why I put this ghoul here. I've already got the assist. He should have just been back one. I don't know why he's... I don't know why he's there. Now I can just get served easily. I don't know why I did this. I literally don't know why I put that guy there. Now I basically have to follow. Terrible. Sorry, I'm not explaining anything. So there you go. Anyway, I just tried to hit his ogre because I've got, you know, I've got my blow, and I was going to try and foul him as well with my ghoul. Um, I don't know why this guy is there. He should have been one in front. Um, just terrible, terrible putting him out there. I just don't know why I did it. Don't know why I did it. He shouldn't have been there. I wanted to cover, you know, in case of a fail state, so he didn't just hit my ball. But he should just be one back. I don't know why he's two. I don't know why he's two in front. Probably because I'm thinking about La Bamba. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, 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 I don't even hate scoring early at this point um, just because losing a mummy is so bad for undead it's literally so bad like it's it's basically a whole team so I've lost two players and he's lost one and I've lost my best player so yeah, this is absolutely terrible absolutely terrible Okay, that's good. That's very good. That is wonderful. Not a great reroll. He's got four. So it wasn't wasn't terrible. But um good. Come on. Was there a massively high accident rate until about four years ago? I didn't, I didn't know that. Cars are wild, yeah. We are, are humans. It's probably, it's, I mean, this is probably a stupid question. So I'm just going to say it as fact, rather than ask the question. Humans are the only animal, apart from pets. <laughs> And zoo animals, and animals being transported by humans. Where the like, it's only us that can make things go faster than they can naturally go, isn't it? Like every other thing is just limited by how fast it can move, and humans are the only thing that can be like, "Fuck this! You're going as fast as I say you're gonna fucking go," <laughs> isn't it? Has to be. Yeah. And, like, they go ridiculously fast as well. Like, yeah, even just normal, normal boring cars, like, going, like, every car can go at, like, 70 miles an hour, can't it? And, which is just an insane speed for a, <laughs> for a living thing to be transported at. Okay, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. So we can just punch everything clear here. It's not great, but it's what I've got to do. So how do I make it as safe as possible? Like this. A blockless block. Now he can punch him. Good. Hopefully you remove this guy. No. Nope. 
Good. <laughs> Run away. Well, obviously on turn four, that's not the best thing, is it? Running away on turn four is not the best thing. But he's kind of screwed me with the removal of the mummy. Is absolutely, absolutely collapsed my offense. So now at least I can like regroup a little bit by running away. <laughs> and I can still go to the other side. I've still got ghouls. So I can still go to the other side. I didn't like that his guard was next to his ogre, so it wasn't easy for me to hit him. And at least if he commits his ogre and his guard to hit my ogre and my, my mummy, then at least, like, you know, that they're committed and I can move to maybe the other side. Like, this grab was annoying, right? They're going down the sideline of that grab there. was terrible, so I wanted to get off the sideline. <laughs> it's kind of squirrels, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a very good point to be with. It is wild how like scared of everything um, horses are, isn't it? Yeah. Still do, don't they? Um, still do. People get injured and die riding. Like horses are uh, like serious business, aren't they? I mean, horses are pretty terrifying. I, I, I remember, you know, like, going to football at Wembley, and then, like, there was, like, you know, like, loads of people. Loads of people in the crowd and that, and they're all, like, pushing you in the back and that, you know, like, you're getting pushed around, jostled in the crowd, and then there's, like, the mounted police. And it's like, flip me, you know, like, I don't want to get... I don't want to get barged into this bloody horse <laughs> kicked in the head. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Yeah, they, they are pretty scary. As much as they get scared by things, they are, uh, they are, and especially when, like, there's a man on top as well, they're even bigger, aren't they? Like, they're, they're absolutely massive. Can only, can only imagine, like, what the people fighting in the olden times thought of, like, elephants, right? Like, war elephants, like, Jesus Christ. Can't even, can't even imagine that. No shame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're massive. <laughs> oh, yes. Lovely skull. No reroll. We've got 2D into 2D, and do we have a surf? Maybe, right? So it can block there, and that'll push him to there. No, push him to there and push him out, and then block him to there, but then no, can't get the surf off. Maybe I should have blocked these first. I'm tempted to like put the ball here now, or here. Because even if I push him, this is pretty good. Get the power. Push him off. Oh, yeah, I can just move there first. I could GFI. And then that's pretty good, isn't it? No, oh, no. 
you. A block full block. Oh, yes. Incredible KO. Incredible KO. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't get around the back. I could just try for a 1D power here, right? I think I'd do a 1D here because. Well. No, it's just a zombie, yeah, just, just eat, the, eat their activations. Getting millions of knockdowns that turn. Like, I really want to be tagging him, right? That's what I'm thinking. Tagging him is super good. Yeah, okay. Okay, this 1D is all okay. Alright, good. <laughs> yes, he could have 2D blitzed my uh, my sneaky git, couldn't he? Because I pushed him there. But otherwise, he could have 2D blitzed my mummy, and I'd rather he 2D blitzed my ghoul than my mummy, honestly. So there we go. Look, that, that zombie took eight, three activations by making that 1D. He did die. <laughs> he did die. <laughs> but also, he took three activations up, so, you know. A noble sacrifice. Well done. Well done, zombie. Your life was worth three activations of one turn. <laughs> Another four. He's blocked two ghouls and he's piled them both. No, don't kill him. Oh my god. He has hit ghouls twice and full piled them both times. Just quietly. Not that I'm keeping score or anything. But um, that's definitely what's happened. Oh, I am getting diced here, aren't I? This is ridiculous. Four players removed as undead is pretty insane. Um, but I've got to do a blockless block here. The reason being... I could block with him, and then this guy comes down and blitzes. But if he blocks there, then he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and come up down the field right, which is good. So that's why I want to do that. Maybe up to there. It's annoying because I like to go to there, but I can just do that with another guy instead. Let's just go there. Right. This guy can't dodge, so it's best to just punch with him. Oh my god. <laughs> and then this dodge gives us quite a lot, but honestly, punching is just better, isn't it? Let's just punch. But at least I can re-roll this. And there's a pow. And he's gonna eat two activations. 
And he'll probably die because of it, but it's stopping two players getting back. To stop the score. This is not really a Gucci ad adjacent. This is very much sub Gucci. He is down two players, one from a send off for fouling a zombie. And the Ogre KO is nice. It's actually actually his Ogre KO is worse for him than my mummy Kaz, isn't it? Because it region. But four players down is that's hard to deal with. I mean it's hard to deal with with elves, but with uh with undead it's very brutal. Giacomo <laughs> Yeah. Or Giacomo, I don't even know how you pronounce it, but um, yeah. I know the one you mean. <laughs> yes, Steve, yeah. <laughs> It's funny that if I'd done the dodge, I'd have just failed, right? Because that's a one in nine. The dodge was like, you know, three plus with a reroll, but that block. Oh my god, he's, he's made three blocks on ghouls and he's full powered every time. Just quietly. Just, just quietly. I think I just cheer fine skull. The problem is, I need. Um, I need to stall, don't I? Because humans can score in two turns very easily. Very easily. Oh. He's going for a 1D on the ball. Oh, he's making GFIs. Oh my god, he made all the GFIs. Finally didn't get powered. Woohoo! <laughs> he powered every time <laughs> until the time he didn't pow. <laughs> Way. Well. <laughs> This looks uh, pretty fucked, doesn't it? I mean, it's at least a dodge for the ghoul, isn't it? It's at least a dodge for the ghoul. Um, I'm not seeing anything. That makes this good. Better than that, I think it's just going to be a 2D and it would dodge. Well, a 1D and a 2D and a dodge double GFI. I don't see anything that helps. This guy can't reach anywhere. Just have to blitz with this fella. Dub skull. I mean, that was a two plus, right? To then move back here, and then get, you know the guard would make this a two dice block, and then a push is good, and then he just dodges and double GFIs. So I've decided to gain scoring. I've decided that scoring is not what I wanted to do. I'm just going to let him score and be one nil down. That seems that seems better to me. Honestly, maybe maybe it goes back 
to the early you know I turned to or whatever when I just wanted to blitz with my mummy and if I just hadn't blitz with my mummy it would have been harder for him to blitz with his ogre and then he wouldn't have removed my mummy and then I'd have probably won the half easily but it's kind of crazy to have gotten such a horrible position after he lost his sneaky kit instantly that was such a bad decision from him to just lose lose his uh, sneaky kit like to foul a zombie right like obviously he didn't just choose to lose his sneaky kit but the fact that it was fouling a zombie you know on a team with ghouls and mummies and he fouled a zombie that was a wild foul actually he's out of rerolls this isn't too bad is it Somehow, oh, I am out of range though, but I can chain myself back into range, no problem. Oh my god, amazing. Amazing. Right. <laughs> Um, so I think I had to do the same thing again, right? A one dice block, blitz on him, and then move to there, and then he blocks him, and then he chains him. Is there anything better than that? I don't think so. They've got like no players free at all. Everything's based. This has to be the best way. So start off with this 2D first, I guess, because it's a 2D and not a 1D. We do get the push. Get the bolt down. Get the pow. Get the chain forward. 70% of score. Yes! Glorious. His ogre stays out. Wonderful. Oh, both KOs come back. And he's got a keg as well, <laughs> so he'll probably be back for the second half. Probably should set up for the one turn here. He's got. He's got. Uh... Wait, does he even have a catcher? He does have a catcher. He needs three pushes though, doesn't he? I think I just backline, protect my players. It's so hard for humans to score a one turner. He's got no rerolls. He hasn't got he hasn't got an ogre to throw it though. <laughs> Amazing KO. Amazing KO means that uh Yeah. Never in doubt. It was a perfect turn eight star, wasn't it, in the end? <laughs> Indeed for Fibrio, yeah, yeah, like that's the thing, right? Str Strider and Devo both messed up. Right, like two of the best players that there are. And they both they both tried to do like, you know, the clever push denial thing and uh both ended up mis mispositioning. And I don't know I think 
I think Strider got away with it. No, no, he didn't, did he? No, no, I think I think Carl scored that. Yeah. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't actually get the dice rolls. Maybe he failed it. No, I think he did, didn't he? I think Cole scored. I can't remember. <laughs> but he certainly, he, he certainly did all the right moves anyway, didn't he? And obviously, I, know, I remember Sol scored because it was yesterday. <laughs> but I can't remember if Cole did. So yeah, that's the thing. It's easy, easy to make mistakes. Very easy. Whereas back line, they're at least they're at least seventy five. But like they they're maxed out at seventy five percent score, aren't they? Because they have to do the four three two, and for humans that's a five four three. So for humans that's really hard, and that's assuming they get the three pushes. And the ball to the catcher and you know all of the other stuff so yeah back line is probably not that bad when you think about it when you just think how easy it is to get one push <laughs> you know I don't know why I said one push like so for example um, you know underworld and Skaven will just have a sidestepper, won't they? And then they'll have Juggernaut on the Rat Ogre or the Troll or the Blitzer. And then they just need, you know, if you set up anywhere near them, they can like do loads of fills and stuff. And if they've got Stand, stand Firm, they can do things. Like, there's so many ways for them to get one single push with a sidestep. But this human, he needs like three pushes forward needs to do it properly like first of all he needs to execute which not everybody does right people can mess it up so he needs to execute it correctly and he needs three pushes which is 55 percent for the first two isn't it the last one can be a power but even then it's like just getting the pushes isn't easy and then he's got to like yeah pick it up pass it catch it he should not have done this so he did not execute correctly that was uh, just a misclick i guess Wonderful. A wonderful misclick for Jim. And he gets the pushes again. And that, that's his reroll gone that he, you know, he kind of shouldn't have had. <laughs> Certainly in my head when I was assessing whether to try the one turn, he didn't have that reroll. So he can definitely get the pushes now, like, right? because he can, he can power this last hit. Well, hey! <laughs> well, you shouldn't, Rainer, should you? Like, you shouldn't. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so this is the thing. Oh my god, he failed again. He won in nine his KO rolls. Amazing. Um. So yeah, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't assume that everything should should fail, right? Like, that's one way of looking at things. For like, you know, for the safety and stuff. It's something that people do, you know, I just assume I'll fail. But you shouldn't assume you'll fail, because most of the time you won't. Fail. You know, I, you should assess the equity correctly, right? You should assess the equity correctly. And if that means that they're 30% to score, you should, you know, you should play as if they score 30% of the time, not that they score 90% of the time, right? Like, you have to... You should be assessing the equity correctly. I really do want to uh, leave my sneaky git blitzable so that he'll blitz him and not try and sc score quickly. But um, I think I'll just go with this. Uh, guard, so that this side stronger with guard and this side stronger with blodge seems sensible. Yeah, he's incredibly lucky that his, <laughs> his ogre stayed chaos. So I really want to stop the quick score even though um, you know, the quick score is usually alright because I really don't want him to get this ogre back. Yeah, so I, 
So it's, it's an interesting thing, right? Because obviously, look, Reyna's really good at Blood Bowl. Uh, that's a fact because he was had the highest win rate on Blood Bowl 3. And no matter how much you game the system or anything, getting the highest win rate is still very impressive. And and that's kind of like something that we talk about. Like, you know, like you kind of do think, you know, well, look, if I leave a if I leave a 2 plus to hit the ball, he'll make it and he'll sack the ball. Like, you, you know, you kind of think things like... But you've got... It's essential that, like, you actually do quantify things as accurately as you can because you know let's say you've got a two plus you've got to make a two plus that's only one in 36 times you fail right if you put a reroll in so um you've got to balance that about the actual chance of him getting the ball off you right and if he's going to make like two three pluses and two dice you and get a full pow then you've got to know what percentage that is and you've got to know that you making the two plus is better, right? So like this thing, you can't just assume that your GFI will fail, and you can't assume that his ball sack will work. You've got to like realize that his ball sack is seventy percent or whatever, and your your fail is three percent, stuff like this. Uh, it's actually grab. It looks very similar to Juggernaut, but it, this one it actually is grab. So there you go. He is a blitzer, it's hard to tell which are the blitzers. Um, but, uh, they've actually got like a double, they've got like a double thing. And the linemen have got a triple thing. Okay, not a dead zombie. Not a dead zombie. Okay, not great. Not great to have a... Uh, to have two stuns there. The Shredder Claw. Yeah. Or Predator. The movie starring uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, not P. Diddy. Allowing him to hit my guard sucks. Oh my god, three stuns. <laughs> Flip me. It's like actually brutal, right? Because this is hard to stop him breaking through next turn. I guess the good thing is he's got the ball and a halfling, so he's not too likely to try. How do I? I want to blitz this guy, but like, there's no way I can. And he's got more stuff over this side. I can't just let him go straight through the middle. This is horrific. These three, these three stuns. Crikey. Absolutely brutal. I think the best thing I can do I nearly just didn't blitz that turn. I guess him standing up to get punched is okay, isn't it? It uses up an action. There's the last guy who used up an action. I mean, it was a great trade, though. Three actions for his death. So brutal all those stuns. Ugh, oh, get <laughs> Should not have stood up. <sighs> mm. 
man. And that was a bad trade because it was just one player action, right? It didn't need the assist. But I was just hoping that, you know, like, it would, you know, you would push him and then he would, you know, have to hit him again. But I probably just shouldn't have stood him up, honestly, with the fact that the other three were staying down. But I am scared of him scoring and then, like, you know, getting his ogre back. But it looks like he's not trying to score quickly, so. Maybe I shouldn't have been scared of him scoring quickly. Well, it's just a free hit, isn't it? It's, it's only using one, one action. That's the problem. Like, if I don't stand him, then he's only getting, like, this hit. But he just got that for free. That was the problem, wasn't it? Alright, maybe I'm wrong to be scared of him just scoring, actually. Okay. Well, now I'm a lot less scared now that I get my, uh, now that I get my men back. So obviously these two like dominate these with guard. You can't really do any hits there. And then we're just gonna smash this guard here. Smash him to bits. And it's hard for him to hit here. So this is two two players stranded on the mummy. Three players stranded on two there. So completely shut down the side move. So he's gonna go back to the middle here. Not gonna get forward. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like, Frosty, as well, yeah. I, I did like that. But, the problem is, um, I'm, now I've got 10, haven't I? <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't have defended it that hard. So yeah, he's bringing him in to get 2D, which is pretty good for me, really. Another player on the mummy. Another full pow. Which, like, he couldn't have got through if he'd just rolled the both down, right? He'd just been stuck on that zombie, but... Gets the full pow. He's probably going to have to get the ball off this halfling, because it's only movement five, and <laughs> he can't really go anywhere. <laughs> So that's what I was kind of thinking, was, you know, he's going to hand it off to the catcher or something at some point. This has been a rough game for removals and KOs. My saving grace is that his one foul got him sent off and uh, his ogres stayed out ridiculously. Okay, we could do a double G if I base the ball potentially here. God damn it. Okay, no AV break, thank God. Oh, if he 1D powers and then fouls with dirty P. Dirty P, dirty play and removes him. Oh my god, he's just making another dodge. Ah! Good. Well, he'll re-roll this, won't he? He's got four. Good. Phew! Phew!
brilliant. Oh, shut up. Well, going there doesn't do him any good, really. So, um, I'm definitely going to do the end of the turn double G if I had to base the flame. That's really nice. And then the rest of my turn has to be based around controlling all of this mess over here. Which is mostly done by these two. And this. Oh my god. Right. He's got block. <laughs> <laughs> One day we'll get a knockdown, but not today. I could kind of GFI and just tag all of these people, and then he's like really screwed. I really like it, just, just basing him there. Was it questionable turn ordering? I'd, I'd block with block. Didn't I? Oh yeah, I blocked with him and then there. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, true. True. True, but I, wa I wanted this to work for sure so I could get him in. But yeah. I have to GFI to tag him. Yeah, the zombie, yeah, that's fair. Right. Okay, this isn't bad, is it? This isn't bad. Most of his players are tagged. And uh You know, there's a there's a there's a ghoul right in front of his halfling about to make it 2 0. So his dice rolls are pretty critical. Just power everything. <laughs> Not a pow. And the the good thing about this was his only free player was the catcher, so now he can't catch to the catcher and like, but can't hand off to the catcher and potato away, right? Like he he could hand off to it now, obviously, but he can't he can't like hand off and run away. So he's still in a bit of a pickle here. A bit of a pickle. Yeah, that's true. I should have made this block before. I'll I'll be honest. I forgot he had block, <laughs> so I thought I'll do that and then do this blitz. And I was about to do the blitz, and I thought, oh, I should have blocked. I should block him first, so yeah. But I didn't think it was bad ordering, but yeah, it was, it was. Blocks with block first. Yeah, now he's realising how much of pickle he's in, right? They can't block him, they can't block him, he can't block him, he can't block them, he can't block him, so he's like... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So at the moment, we've got an 8 out of 9 dodge to 2 dice, the ball, with block. Which is pretty flipping good, isn't it? Instant and full 1D pal. Doesn't follow though, so he still can't punch with this guy.
shut up. Uphill double pals. Push me the wrong square. It's blocked his path for this guy. He had to not follow, right? He had to knock down to here and not follow. Then he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> no, that still doesn't work. So what does he have to do? Oh, he has to go all the way back and then like double GFI to here. Yeah, okay. So he did do it the right way. This guy's got a single GFI or double GFI. No, he's just not. He's just not stopping me. He's just like enjoy, enjoy smashing the ball. Interesting. The guard will have to come in here. So he's just going to have to stand up. He's just going to have to stand up. He's just going to have to stand up. He's going to block. He's got block and guard, so yeah, that's a great place for him to stand right in three people. I'd like to punch this guy, as I'd like to get one of these free. Obviously, punching him is the best way to get him free because um, I can re roll it. But if I'd, I could dodge them both away, right, which would be pretty good, but I think I just have to punch first. Puts him on the mummy, so that's great. That's very controlled there. Could move him. I could use him as a recovery, right? If I don't pop the ball, or I could just go there and punch the guard. Could go there and stand next to him. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Right, here we go. Yeah. Was there ever any doubt? Maybe, honestly, maybe I should have just blitzed with my blit blitzed his blitz with my white and base the ball, but you know. Eight times out of nine <laughs> I make the dodge, hit him with block. Sandwich in between three of my players. But, like, it's times like this where I think, you know, maybe I should have just done the safer play. Because it is turn 14, right? Like, as soon as I fail, I think, could I have been more conservative, you know? Hey. Oh, damn it. Your flight got delayed an entire day. Oh my god, so. And then, yeah, he just gets to hand off and then make the breakaway that I was scared off for the whole game. Oh, dear me. And funnily enough, if I'd put this guy here, if I'd put this guy here and punched him, I would have had a free ghoul to hit the ball. <laughs> Unbelievable. makes you think, doesn't it? It really makes you think that, like, you know, the most conservative play, maybe you should just constantly go for the most conservative play all the time. Never try to dodge, ever. <laughs> yep, yeah, you know, maybe I should have just spent five minutes on that turn, right? Because it was obviously a critical turn. And I just thought, well, you know, say it times out of nine. I just thought to myself, look, I kind of win the game 90% 90, 90 of the time, right? Eight times out of nine, I win this game. But maybe I shouldn't have thought that. Good. Good. Okay, 
So we'll safe moves first. Stand up this guy. Yeah, we can just stand this guy up. This zombie might want to go somewhere for the hit because I don't really understand what's happening. I'm going to punch this guy first. Power him. Push him to there. And then he can go there, right? And now this is a three dice. I can't realistically make this a three dice. I could go there for... If I fail the GFI, but I don't really want to make a GFI to hit him either, do I? I just want to hit him, but then I can't take the bolt down. But then I could like GFI to make it harder from the skull. So I guess I just hope for a pal. Reroll hope for a pal. Of course not. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Maybe like here. God damn it. God damn it, maybe, uh, maybe that was a mistake, maybe I should have just gone for the safer thing, but like, n to win eight times out of nine is pretty good, isn't it? You know. Like an 89% win rate, win rate is pretty good. But, yeah, if I just, like, that did leave open the 11%, didn't it? Whereas, if I'd just done safer things... But then that's the thing, you don't know what they don't know what the chance of him dodging through with a halfling and then giving it the catcher was, right? Like that's the thing, right? So it's not even hindsight is twenty twenty, it's just doubts. It's doubts rather than hindsight. I don't know that what I did was wrong. I don't know that. What I do know is that um You know, I just didn't think too much about it. I didn't calculate the odds of you know, him trying to get the catcher and break away, which is what I should have done. Like, so I probably should have, um, yeah, you know, thought about that more. If I if I just blitz the catcher, maybe, try and take that option away from him. Hey, he's just done that. Okay. Right, I have to put... Oh, my God. Okay, I'll blitz him with the sneaky kid. Right? No, no, no. I blitz him with the... Uh, this is the way. This is the way. So I get the serve on three dice. This has to... Be. It sucks that I'm using the blitz. But I've got no re-rolls. And it sucks I'm using... Like, I could have just blocked him, obviously. But this way... It just guarantees it working, basically. And even if I'd triple scold, I would have still had two players in front of him. It's just going directly to this guy. <laughs> um, okay. Hello, Dimbo. Oh. 
Um, I can geify to here, right? That's pretty good. And then he can... This failing is, like, so terrible, right? That's the problem. The 1 in 36 there is just so terrible that I think I don't even risk it. But then, if I don't, he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, picks it in my right hand zone, passes it to him, so... Maybe I have to do this. Okay, good. So that's like that makes that a four three at least. Danced. Okay, it's about as much as I could do, I think. <sighs> Man, this has been a rough game. Like the all the chaos, like I've got, and the funny thing is having like two massive slices of luck with the uh, with the ogre not not coming back, and this guy uh, this guy getting certain off his first foul. Like I had some amazing slices of luck, but um, it's been nightmarish for a lot of it. <laughs> Let's punch him. <laughs> mummy pass yeah we'll try a mummy, mummy pass at the end and this is of course the most important manoeuvre oh no mummies can't yeah they can't shit he can't even try. Fucking diced. I can't try and pick it up because it could go to him. I won't be a silly ducky. I won't be a silly ducky. <laughs> and uh, if you don't know what that was, Ducky was playing. Ducky, one of the best players ever. Um, was playing Dionysian in the Blitz Pit, I think it was, and he uh, he tried to pick up the bot. Like, it was turn 16, completely over. There was no turn left for Dio. And then there was like something like a 1% score, or something, not even sub 1% score for Ducky. So he tried to pick up the ball, failed the pick up. The ball like scattered out throughout end zones and stuff, and uh, like scattered out the crowd, went back in the end zone, and Dio had a player in the end zone caught it. And it's like, oh my god, ridiculous. So I was clever not to touch the ball there. Clever Jim. Anyway, that was a, that was a battle that, that for the 1 0, but. Um, yeah, interesting, isn't it? One one of those things where I'm still not sure it was wrong to go for that 8 out of 9 dodge, but I was in such a dominant position that maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Maybe I shouldn't have. Right. Uh, he gets a general now, doesn't he? Yeah. So we can just go sidestep. Uh, not general, primary. Sidestep. Sidestep's a great skill. So he's got Bludge Sidestep, and then these two can... If I level them both, they'll both just... Um, I think I'm going to random one anyway, right? So I guess I should just random one. And then if that's good, I could random the other one as well. <laughs> okay. Pro. Terrible. It's four for the second one, isn't it? Yeah. 
I'm just going to random this other one as well then, I think. Screw it. Block! Yes! Yes! Um, <laughs> not bad. So now this guy you can try to random again. But pro for 10, pro for free isn't even that good, so I'm going to retire him. And then buy another goo. And uh, yeah, this, this way just has to get guard. And get another zombie. That's nice, isn't it? A block for 10 TV is lovely. And yep, that's it. That was a tough game. But that was interesting, though. The one in nine dodge there, whether it was worth it or not, is interesting. An interesting quandary. Could do a deep dive on that. Uh, Shohans isn't very good, Vala. Um, that is the reason for not Shohans. Because, like... <laughs> not many people have strip ball. Number one, not many people have strip ball. It's not like, you know, tabletop res style events where, in, well, for not, not so much for the last four years, but for the previous th 26 years, you were terrified of war dancers with strip ball. So the strip ball is not really so much of a factor. Um, and apart from that, show hands is... You know, you'll probably pick it up, right? Like, 66% <laughs> of the time you don't need it. And then you can just try the next turn. And you're probably alright. And you can always use a team reroll if you have to. So it's just not as pressing. And also you can random it, right? Also you can random it. When you're randoming the ghouls, you're randoming general for block or wrestle primarily. But you can also random sure hands and then that's okay. So... So that's the secondary reason, is because it's a general, you can random it. So like, I'll keep randoming this guy, and if he gets block or wrestle, or sure hands, he's fine. In fact, maybe not so fine on sure hands, but that that's the idea, right? It's another one you can hit. Dirty player, block, wrestle, sure hands, and tackle, kind of, right? Because they probably want to random again to get one for completely for free then. But you can at least keep them. But yeah, it just shows just isn't that good. Like it's just it just sometimes saves you a reroll. Like it's it's rare that it saves you a reroll, right? Whereas block is just fantastic, sidestep is fantastic. Things like this are just really good. Pro is yeah, frenzy is pull one's tackling pro is pulling strength. Yeah, pro isn't terrible. It's certainly better than it was. But I don't really want it for free. Like, I'd rather just get a new ghoul, and if I get block on him, I'd rather just have block for 10 and not have pro at all, you know, than have block and pro for 20, basically. Um, but there you go, anyway. There's there's the team. There was the game. And, uh, yeah, that was that was a good job I got those big slices of a look, because without that, that would have been... It was already very difficult. Uh, but, yeah, that was an interesting moment, wasn't it? The how safe I should have been that turn. That could be an interesting analysis video of that turn, I think. Interesting to me, at least. Right, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.